At the state level, a, a study recently conducted by the University of Massachusetts found in Indiana, creating a viable market for the retrofitting of homes and businesses with solar power would create 136,000 new green jobs. And the same study found that the efforts by uh, President Obama and the Democratic Congress to work with, the America, with America's auto industry to become more energy efficient would create 129,000 new jobs in Ohio. And finally, in Illinois, investment in biofuel production and development has created tens of thousands of new jobs for an industry that would otherwise be struggling during these very tough economic times. Between 1998 and 2007, jobs in the clean energy economy grew at two and a half times the rate for traditional jobs. So dollar for dollar investments in clean energy economy uh, will create four times as many jobs as investments in the oil and gas industry. Again, uh, back to uh, nanotechnology for a minute. The National Science Foundation has projected that the global economy will need a skilled workforce of more than 2 million nanotechnologists by 2015, which is just a few years away. So the nanotechnology industry is thriving here in Chicago. I am, I, my, my dream is to see us be a center of nanotechnology just as um, uh, the Silicon Valley was in, in, uh, in, in, their, in that technology. Um, and uh, we have world famous laboratories at Northwestern and Argonne and business operating internationally. The entrepreneurial spirit is strong here and some of the most promising nanotechnologies uh, in the energy field are right here. We have um, Polyera, a nanotech company that is located at the uh, Illinois Science Park in Skokie working to develop polymer inks for organic photovoltaics, printed solar cells, uh, which are printed solar cells. Uh, imagine a company being able to pr print, print sheets of solar cells as easily as sheets of newspaper. I mean, maybe you all know about that, but I was so excited to, uh, to hear about it. Uh, such innovation could dramatically bring down the cost of these energy gathering cells and that is the technology that's being developed by this uh, company, Palliera. In April, the Department of Energy Office of Science announced an investment of $777 million nationwide into 46 energy frontier research centers, those at the frontier of new energy technologies. Four of those 46 are in Illinois, two at Argonne, two at Northwestern, and each is going to be funded at $19 million over five years. Both Northwestern uni uh, University initiatives, um, uh, uh, both of the initiatives will use nanomaterials to improve the conversion of sunlight into uh, electricity. The next step after discovery, of course, is commercialization, turning an idea into a product that will benefit society, making the leap from the lab to manufacturing floor, from one lab technician to hundreds or even thousands of workers. The two million strong workforce that the National Science Foundation has called for won't just be made up, as I said, of PhDs and master's degrees. They will need workers at all levels, and I know that, um, uh, that uh, Deborah was talking about those uh, a, a, as well. Those with bachelor's and associate's degrees and those with field-specific certifications from public and private undergraduate programs, including uh, Oakton Community College and maybe even some students right out of high school who have received the right training. The president has said, let me quote from uh, my friend President Barack Obama, quote, the nation that out-educates us today will out-compete us tomorrow. The ability of new industries to thrive depends on workers with knowledge and know-how to contribute in those fields, unquote. So how do we build that skilled workforce for nanotech jobs, for green jobs? And again, our region is working on that as, as well. Oakton uh, has a strong manufacturing focus that's being expanded to incorporate new technologies and, and advancements. Uh, Nano Inc., another business in my district, has created a nanotech cur curriculum called Nano Professor that features both written materials and hands-on training tools, and it's specifically designed for high schools, undergraduate programs, and community colleges. 
It's my understanding that Oakton is currently looking at grant opportunities uh, in President Obama's new 21st Century Community College program to see if the college can purchase the curriculum, and I'm glad to support them in that effort. I, I, again, meeting with, uh, with, with uh, Dan Swinney, who's doing a, an amazing job at the high school level to bridge the gap between new manufacturing sector and workers that industry will need, which is exactly what the president has called for. He's, uh, and I know he'll talk about it, but let me just mention, Dan, that he successfully created two advanced manufacturing high schools, Austin Polytechnical Academy and the Chicago Academy for Advanced T Technologies exposing students to the career fields that will need them later on. Um, he and I, I uh, just want to remind you, are exploring the idea of creating another of these schools within my district that is specifically focused on nanotechnology, and I, I look forward to working with him and others to move these initiatives forward. There's no reason that we can't create those kinds of, uh, of, of partnerships. Education is important, but so is inspiration. We have to continue to encourage our students from all backgrounds to pursue science as a career. Girls um, are, are catching up with and even passing boys in many academic programs, but are still unrepresented in math and science programs. So we're going to have to change that. The, the STEM programs, everybody here knows, we're talking about science, technology, engineering, and math education programs, both at the K-12 and higher education are incredibly important. Strong science and math programs are going to generate the technologically proficient workers for science-based high-tech industries, including the, the, the green sectors, also <coughs> encourages students to become the next generation uh, of scientists, engineers, and even nanotechnologists. Um, and Oakton is a STEM leader. The college has been the recipient of the National Science Foundation funding to support the Oakton Center for promoting STEM, as well as an APEX scholarship program that, attempt, uh, that attempts to increase student interest in majoring in science, technology, engineering, and math. And I was uh, pleased to participate in an uh, annual, what is it? Am Amatic. Amatic uh, contest award ceremony is associated with these efforts. A couple of years ago, Oakton has made STEM training a priority so that Oakton graduates are well prepared for emerging job opportunities in those in those fields. Uh, the the House uh, of Representatives passed uh, an appropriation bill that that covers spending for the Department of Commerce and Justice and Science and. Anyway, the, we've got the, the Education and Human Resources Directorate, which houses most of the education programs of the NSF, would receive $863 million under the bill, more than even the President has, uh, has asked for. So there, it's starting to, to really dawn on, uh, on the politicians as well that these are, this is where we need to uh, direct the, uh, the, the money. We have to harness the enthusiasm that our young people have for the world around them. I think this is a, a, an incredible moment to, to do that. They're interested in energy policy and how they can preserve the environment. In exit polling in the 2008 election, energy policy was ranked higher as a top issue for voters age 18 to 29 than for any other age group. Part of their interest and society's interest is in changing our daily habits driving less and more efficiently, walking more, using compact uh, fluorescent light bulbs, bringing reusable bags to the, the grocery store. But young people also need to know that they can turn their passion into successful careers that will support their families. <coughs> Manufacturing remains the sector that can support a middle class with high salaries and good benefits. At the federal level, I'm going to continue to push for uh, STEM education initiatives, investments in green technology, nanotechnology research. We're on the right path. We have to be on the right path. In addition to the Recovery Act, the, the stimulus bills, major investments in renewable energy and efficient energy technologies since the, loss of, since the launch of the National Nanotechnology Initiative in 2000, Congress has appropriated approximately $10 billion for nanotechnology research and development. Sufficient funding for the National Institutes of Health 
and the National Science Foundation and support for nanotech research and for basic science across the board remain an absolute necessity. And here at the, uh, the, the local level, our region can be a leader in discovering the technologies and developing the technologies, the education, uh, the, the educated workforce that will put us uh, right in the center of these new developments on a sustainable path, and we can build and employ a workforce that can mass produce those technologies. So let's support the homegrown talent here in the uh, state of Illinois and the Chicago area and build the infrastructure for the educational system and the manufacturing sectors that will support a true 21st century economy. Thank you so much.